was like, this is really bad advice because you know how unhealthy it is? Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 16. It is currently 10 a.m. I worked out earlier today and I'm currently trying to process this video for you guys. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's vlog, we had a power out, so I was unable to edit it, but you know, we got it done. We got up early. Today, I am going to go to downtown Napes with Leo, just to a couple of stores. I high key want to get Joey a gift, so we gotta do that. I don't know what else we have planned per usual. We're just gonna play the day by ear and see what happens. It might be a little shorter vlog today because I don't really know exactly what we're doing, like I said, but I will update you guys once I'm ready and we are headed out. All right guys, I'm gonna start getting ready. I just want to talk about something. I was watching a YouTube video. Basically, this person was saying, okay, wait, let me just put out a disclaimer. Literally, this is just my own opinion. Like everyone is entitled to their own opinion. She was saying things along the lines of like, if you are experiencing like an issue or like a problem, she says just to sleep on it and then you'll feel so much better in the morning. If you're having a problem or if you're creating problems in your head that don't exist, sleep on it and then you'll wake up the next morning feeling good and she says that that works for her so like you know kudos to her like that works for her but that's not the case for everyone like i was like this is really bad advice because do you know how unhealthy it is for you to keep your feelings in even if they're like made up scenarios that's like toxic energy she was talking about how she would create boy issues like in her head even though like she doesn't have any issues like with a boy because she's not even seeing a boy it sounds like she's still in the process of getting over her boyfriend good for her like she's trying she does preach a lot though like saying like she doesn't need a man or anything blah 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 but she kind of starts to like contradict herself when she's like talking about like oh there's a guy that like i'm talking to i don't know but yeah she's saying like if you start to create fake scenarios in your head don't react to it don't do anything about it because then you'll regret it and just fall asleep on it because then you'll wake up everything will be okay Okay, you'll be happy that you didn't do anything that you would regret or something like that I was like, you know what? This is kind of like fall because like as an overthinker, you know Obviously, you're gonna overthink things maybe because of like past trauma or whatever It doesn't help to fall asleep on it because for me like if I fall asleep like upset because i'm overthinking about something I'll wake up still upset or maybe even more upset than I was before So I feel that it's better off to express your feelings and my friends know it know me better than I do that I cannot express my feelings and i'm trying to get better at it way better off expressing how you feel even if like the situation's not real like for example like if i'm like upset well, hypothetically speaking i'm upset because like my boyfriend's not talking to me even though like i know who like he's busy with school but like i'll be like upset that he's not talking to me i'll like text him and i'll be like oh like you know like i just miss you i miss talking to you and then like you'll get that reassurance and be like oh no like it's okay like he like he'll say like i'm busy with school but like once i'm done with school like we can hang out right after you could have solved it right then and there instead of waiting till the next day and you're like, yeah, I was upset about yesterday because I felt like we didn't spend enough time with each other. Or like, I was listening to my cousin's podcast, listened to On The Line. They were talking about fears. It was their fears episode and they're, he was talking about how he's scared that like he'll die without, um, without doing that everything that he wants to do or he'll like die without fulfilling like something that he wanted to do or that he missed out on. And then they mentioned the quote, like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So like, why not take the shot? She was saying like, don't say anything because then you'll be over it in the next morning. Say something because you'll never know what happened. Like, even if you might regret it, like things happen for a reason, you're never gonna know unless you take the chance. Again, it's my own opinion, but it's a lot healthier for you to express feelings even if they're not real or like even if like the situations are not real it's a lot healthier for you to express those instead of like sleeping on it like you're gonna fall asleep thinking about it and being upset about it and then you're gonna wake up thinking about it and being upset about it like what's the whole point of that like you're just gonna be sad but anyways i'm gonna start getting ready now and then i'm gonna go find an outfit for later okay guys i'm trying to give y'all an update coming over here because the lighting's like pretty decent i just got ready here's the otd okay i'm gonna be wearing joey's closet so yeah we got this brown shirt and then just regular jeans i think i'm gonna go with just flat shoes my levi's i wore them out that one day this is cute this is a moment heck yeah this is cute 
I'm about to go downstairs and wrap some more presents, so I guess I'll bring you guys along. All right, so this is what I got. I forgot to show this part last day, but I got um, my Secret Santa a moisturizer as well as a candle. Perfect gift idea, like a simple gift idea that works for anyone that you literally don't know what to get them. So yeah, I'm just gonna be wrapping these, and then Leo and I are gonna go in a bit. I think he wants to go to like a coffee shop actually, and then he also said that he wants to go see some lights tonight, so I'm excited. We're still gotta figure out where we're at. So I guess I'll just see you guys once I'm done wrapping these presents as well as in the car when I'm with him. All right, so Leo and I. We are going to get some coffee. We look kind of good. We're gonna get some coffee, go to downtown, get some food. Yeah, look, he matched me. Later. It's like a mukbang. So taco. I don't really like sweet potato fries. Mmm. What a cool hot. Mukbang. Mm -hmm. I told myself I would never do one of these. The tacos. Mm -hmm. It is like Asian food mixed with Mexican food. It's good. If you and I were food, this is the... You're my spicy food. Mm, you're my spicy sauce. You're my kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> my pickled peppy. Hey. I got Horritos. We're gonna them? eat this. So, I didn't show in the store because I get nervy to vlog in public. But Leah and I just had food. We went to Francesca's first. And I think if you spend like a certain amount of money, you get a free blanket. The girl that, that was like checking us out, like I was just having like conversations with her. We just got distracted. And I mean, like I left thinking about the blanket. And so I was telling Leo and I was like, damn, should we just go get the blanket? We were passing by Francesca's anyways. And so we we're like, okay, fuck it, let's just get it. And we walk in and I'm waiting in line. Cause like, I was gonna like just ask her like when we got up there. And then she talked to me and she was like, Oh my gosh, I've literally been thinking about the whole time like you left about your blanket. I'm so sorry we forgot it. I'm like, girl, no, same. I've been thinking about this blanket too. <laughs> Debating if I should come get it or not. So, we got the blanket. It is so soft. And I was telling Leo, let me sh let me pull out the receipts. It had like a lot of sales going on, which is really nice like for Francesca's. But I think it's because of like the holidays and like a lot of things are just on sale. And so the sweaters were like 40% off or accessories or buy one get one free and like just a bunch of other like deals that they had going on. The blanket um, retailed for $68 but we got it for free. That's expensive ass blanket but then again it's Francesca's and I saved $117.60. Like that's a good ass deal. But Leo and I are gonna go look at lights right now. I'm so excited for that. That's what we're gonna do. Look at it, so cute. Let's get closer. Yeah, look at the tree. Wow. Few inches later. It's a lot later. Leo and I are painting. This is my painting. These are our paintings from Loki a year ago that we haven't finished. Leo is just started. <laughs> he took a lot of detail with his. We're just painting and watching movies right now. These are our palettes. I need all of these colors. And Leo likes them. This purple is the one that Leo made. But it looks good. I, I, I've made it work. It looks good, I'm serious. <laughs> the epic ones. All right. We're just gonna paint this now. Your purple looks like a plummy color. It is a plum purple. This looks like a hot chocolate color. Very appropriate for the season. Brown. All right, we're gonna paint this now. Okay, it is currently 11.54. I just got home. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 17.